Hi gang, Scott Kelby here and welcome to the Photoshop Insider. Hey, I thought I would do a little follow up on my uh, trip to Greece blog post from uh, Tuesday. Uh, I had a number of people ask questions about the post processing and was it really as easy as I said? And uh, RC had come into my office and uh, he was saying, hey, you know, I saw the shots on, on the uh, on the blog, man, the sky was were beautiful. And the, I said, really, honestly, I, I would love to take credit for doing a lot of fancy stuff, but it was it was like shooting fish in a barrel. There wasn't much to do in post processing, but I thought I would show you exactly. I, I I know I wrote it, but I thought I would just show you. So here's a couple of typical shots that I I took that day, right? So we'll just double click on one. We'll go over here to the develop module, and and I'll just take you through the exact steps that I did. So uh, I went down here to the camera calibration panel. Now we're in Lightroom, but this alt panel is also in Camera Raw, so whichever one you have. Uh, there's a thing called the profile here, the camera calibration profile. I changed it from Adobe Standard to Camera Landscape. And watch the difference this one change makes. Now, I can tell you what this did. By, by adding this camera profile, this looks much more like the JPEG shot look. This is a raw shot. So, the JPEG shot, of course, gets processed and gets contrast added and color correction and sharpening and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the raw doesn't. The raw says turn off all that stuff. So the raw images look a little flat. So by changing it to camera landscape, to me it looks more like the JPEG looked. It looks more processed and better. And then lastly, I would go over here to the basic panel and click on the auto correct. Right? I know that's kind of weeny, but I did it. And uh, that was it. And that's uh, <laughs> that's the two part thing. Uh, let's see if I can. Here's another one. So look over here in the thumbnail. See how nice that thumbnail looks? We'll go to the next one over and do the same thing. So here it is. Start down here and let's go to develop module. Start down here under camera calibration. Choose landscape. Wow, nice. Hit auto. Done. Okay, so I had a lot of questions about shooting food. And people, their exact thing were like, I love the food shot. What's your secret? Okay, there are actually two secrets to shooting food. One of them is you'll notice that all of the food shots that I took are taken when we ate outside. Uh, when you're outside, there's a lot of light and there's kind of usually backlight and things. And that makes the food shots look a lot better. So I really didn't shoot the food with the exception of one time. One time I did. But the time that I shot indoors, we had a ton of natural light. And the light was fantastic. So the first thing is to get good light. And you can see here's my sandwich uh, from lunch in Santorini. And the key, I really think, is get really close. I think that's what it, what what I would say. Shoot in in when there's a lot of light. So anytime you eat outdoors, it's a candidate for shooting. And then zoom in really, really, really tight. You can see I'm zoomed in to 300 uh, millimeter uh, with my lens. So I'm sitting at the table and doing that. And I have a little shot here. First, I'm going to show you a picture of my brother. It's my brother Jeff. Canon shooter, yes he is. Shoots a Canon, I think, uh, it's the new Rebel uh, T2 Ti or Ti2 Ti, I think it is. That's what he's shooting, and he absolutely loves it. Um, all right, so that's uh, him. I'm showing you that picture of him here because the picture I'm going to show you for the example doesn't look as flattering, but he really looks like this. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how he looks. But uh, here we go. So I'm sitting at this table. Uh, this was in... Um, in Croatia and we we stopped to have a little pizza at this uh, restaurant now this is the view when I'm zoomed out at 32 millimeters so I'm at pretty much at wide angle um, and they set the pizza down and I just said hey Jeff let me shoot all right well first what I would do is that you have to kind of fix the uh, white balance so get the white balance eyedropper click on the plate and see if you can find a little better white balance that's kind of bluish but I went somewhere in there so that was the basically the color now let's actually go to the, and then all I did was zoom in. In this case, I couldn't zoom to 300 because I was too close to the pizza. I could only zoom to 180 millimeter. And then um, because I'm zoomed in so close, you know, I focused on one part and the rest is out of focus. Uh, there's, I, there's not a really a great trick here. Of course, it does need uh, uh, a little bit of, uh, let's see if we can come up with a better white balance there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, hit auto and uh, you're done.
So <laughs> I, I wish I had some really wild Photoshop tricks to show you, but um, it, it, sometimes it's just, it's just easy and this is one of those cases. So uh, just to recap, really pretty easy uh, stuff in Lightroom or in Camera Raw, and you can do these in Camera Raw exactly the same way. Uh, and for shooting food, two secrets, shoot outdoors, and zoom in tight. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for coming by the Photoshop Insider. I'm Scott Kelby. Take care.